now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Mary Catherine Baxter, and we're talking about her 30 nights. Each night, Jesus took her on a guided tour of hell. And one of the things I find fascinating is the whole subject about the blood of Messiah. But this was brought up in hell. Tell me about it. Jesus would stress about his blood to these, these souls that was lost. He would say, if you'd only believe the gospel, if you'd only believe that my blood was shed to wash away any sin you ever committed, I would have done it if you'd only repented and called upon me. He stressed that all through hell. And uh, he means just what he says, that it was his blood that was shed on Calvary. If we would believe that he's the Son of God, that he come to wash away our sins, and he would stress that. He said, you wouldn't be in hell if you'd only believed. Tell me, in, in, unfortunately, most people that have not uh, ended their life that are listening to me right now don't understand how powerful the blood of the King Hallelujah. of the Jews, the Messiah of Israel, is Yeshua, Jesus, the Hallelujah. Messiah. And you that are mocking right now, you're not going to get the last laugh. You're not going to. Don't you mock. Mary Catherine Baxter, tell me an exact example of when you have pleaded the blood, or, or tell me something about the blood of Jesus. Uh, I was praying for this person uh, that was choking, actually choking, and I went and laid hands upon him, began to plead the blood of Jesus, and I believe in the covenant of Jesus Christ. And as we began to pray, all of that immediately left because it was a spirit that had attacked them. And another one, the child had a high fever. We covered him with prayer and the blood of Jesus. And the spirit of the, the power of God came on me, and I rebuked it, and it instantly broke through the blood of Jesus. If we could just see in the invisible world yes. that when we plead the blood, it actually it's happens. everything that the yes. blood ha has accomplished. When you say it actually yes. happens, what do you mean? Okay, we was in a, a church, sit where angels were standing as we were praying, excuse me, singing the song, The Bloodline. As we seen it, I seen a line, an angel standing and holding a large line of the blood. It was called the bloodline, all around the church, all around the people. And at times when we plead the blood, I actually see a shield of red come down over that person. And they begin to get healed, they begin to get delivered. And if there's a cancer in their body, sometimes God lets me see it, the red goes on the dark spot and burns out the cancer. Now, I promised you we'd find out about heaven, so yes. for 30 nights she went to hell, but the next 10 nights she went to heaven. I have to ask you a question. Okay. Uh, do young people stay young, like little infants, when they get to heaven, or do they grow up? They grow up. Give me an example. Okay. Well, uh, children grow up in heaven to the age of maturity. They're called the in innocent, okay? And the other scripture would see it is when... Uh, suffer the little children to come unto me for such is the kingdom of God and they go to school in heaven they're taught by the redeemed and they're taught by did angels did you see any children in heaven oh yeah that I saw families knew, that you knew no I didn't know them but I saw many children okay what about uh Adults do they, that are say ninety when they die and go to heaven, do they are they kind of decrepit? Are they walking oh, no. around with canes? Oh or? no! See, God gives them a glorified body, a brand new body, and they usually look about thirty three years old. If they die a hundred, when the angels get done with them and take them before God, they're they they're, they look thirty three years old. What was the music like at heaven? Uh, it was different praises, different types of uh, levels of music. There was uh, a piano 40 feet across. There was a, a trumpet 35 feet long. And different types, different uh, types of music now. Like we had the Italian band in the Bible. They actually, I saw a, a, a people dancing and spinning to the, uh, the sound like Italian music. There was Jewish music, too, in heaven, all kinds of music. Really? Yes. Okay, and when, well, uh, 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 let me ask you this. Yeah. You saw and vision, and where you, when you went to heaven, these books yes. that were accumulated in this golden room. Tell yes. me about that. Well, okay, there's archives in heaven, rooms that, uh, of books. Okay, the first, I've seen several rooms, but one room in particular I feel like Sharon was where God has books he wants to bring down and give people to write. Books from heaven. Hmm. Yes. 
He wants to give them revelation knowledge. And then there was other books of prophecies. There was books well, of prayer. Well, that reminds prayer. me of someone I interviewed that heard songs in heaven, and then many years later heard those same songs being released for the first time on earth. Yes. So you're saying with books, it's the same way. They're books yes. to be released from heaven. Uh, yes. And there's also anointing oils to be released. What does that mean? An is there's like vials of oil up there in a certain for room. For healing and miracles? It's for, yeah, and certain ministers too. God will send the angels to anoint us more sometimes. But you were telling me in some of these books they had records of the prayers. Yes, and, and prophecies. And also there was a group of angels that God sends, and he calls them the Northern Army. And see, they're very big, big angels, 30 foot high. They have huge wings. They have a face like you wouldn't believe of determination. And they have a sword on their side bigger than a man with flames comes out of it. Their stallions that they're on are so high and four foot across in the back. When the prayers of the saints come up to God, and they come in, the, they go to the record room, then they come before the throne. The Lord opens up the prayer book, and smoke comes out of it, and perfume. And the Lord speaks, and His voice is like many waters. He tells them, go to earth and answer her prayers. Go to earth and answer her prayer. And when the book is open, the pages come out and go in the writer's hands. And they gallop to earth to answer our prayers. They do warfare for us. You, you know... I wish I had seen heaven while I'm oh, still I here. I love heaven. And I don't want to see hell ever, <laughs> but in a way I almost feel I want to because I want to have that same compassion you have. When you see someone that rejects Jesus, uh, mm -hmm. w what do you feel? It hurts, uh, but most, I will tell you the truth, Sid, most places I go, everywhere I go, they, they hear the story and they want to be saved. They want Christ in their heart. And once you get to talk to, really talk, their little hearts just melt because they really don't, don't want to go to this place. So I rarely meet anybody that doesn't want to be saved. Rare. What about you? The Jewish prophet Daniel says, in the 12th chapter of the book of Daniel, those that are buried in the dust, some shall rise to everlasting life. Mary Catherine, that's the heaven. Right. <laughs> that is that's heaven. heaven. Yeah. Everlasting yes. means no chance of reversal. Some right. shall rise to everlasting life and some to everlasting condemnation. Yes. So in effect, once someone dies, they can't change their mind because of that word everlasting that is there. So some people say, huh, this earth right here, this is hell. No. If you think this were earth is hell compared to hell, this earth is heaven. Would you agree, Mary Catherine? I agree. So yes. choose. Because you don't know when your end's going to come. Choose right now. Everlasting life or everlasting condemnation, heaven or hell, life with God, life separated from God, forever. The only chance of reversal is now. Why do I say now? Because you don't know how long you're going to live. Choose life. Why will you die, O house of Israel? Believe that Jesus died in your place for your sins. Ask him to forgive you and then make him your Lord by saying, Jesus, I make you my Lord. Or Jesus, help. That'll do.